So, guess what a heat pump is? Air conditioning system where basically you're interested in this is what you want now. What do you mean that's what I want? I want heat dumped into something that's already warm. This is the inside of my house in the middle of winter. In the middle of winter, what's the inside of my house? Oh, about 70 degrees F. What's the outside of my house? Oh, about 20 degrees F or 30 degrees F, right? Well, you could just take electricity and do electric resistive heating, and for every watt of electricity, you get one watt of heating. Or you could take electricity, bring in one watt, one watt, a rate of heat, uh, a rate of electricity power coming in, and maybe get three watts of heating or four watts of heating. So what's better? A one watt in, one watt out, or a one watt in, three watts out? Yeah, well, that's why the heat pumps are more efficient or more popular now. Now, sometimes people get confused because what's the efficiency here? Well, I put a dollar in, I got a dollar out. It's a one for one. It's 100% efficient. Sounds like you can't get any better than that. But you're taking energy in the valuable form of electric power and you're dumping it to the least valuable just heat. I could burn something to make heat. But I can't just silly burn something to make electricity. Try and do that backwards. Try to find a hot house in the middle of summer and then say, okay, I'm going to run this backwards and make electricity, sell it to CPS and make a gob of money. That's hard. So basically there are a lot of irreversibilities when you do this electric dumping straight into heat. Run the air conditioning system. If this is on the inside of your house, before you had the condenser on the outside, so in the systems they'll actually do a little redirection of the plumbing and they'll use the coil that used to be the evaporator and they'll switch it and make it the condenser. And then because they don't want to relocate the coils, one's outside already. So, okay. So what about the heat pump coefficient of performance? I like to use COP heat pump. And it's what you desire, either Q dot for the hot divided by W dot in, or just Q hot divided by W in. So it's the heating rate divided by the input power, is it not? What you desire, or what you have to pay for. You have a, the same condenser, the same evaporator, the same operating conditions, the refrigerant's flowing there. Can you show that the COP of a heat pump is one plus the COP for the refrigeration. All you do is you do your energy balance like this. Q dot in the hot, this is the W dot in, this is Q dot at the low. What is my first law show? That uh, Q dot hot is equal to W dot in plus Q dot L. Does that equation make sense? Conservation of energy. Then you say, what is the coefficient of performance for my heat pump. Well, that was Q dot hot divided by W dot in. Substitute there for the first law. W dot in plus Q dot low divided by W dot in. Isn't that one plus Q dot low divided by W dot in? And guess what that is? COP for the refrigeration. Pretty fast derivation, isn't it? And talk about a metric called the Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. Hey, another acronym. Today is today acronym day, Professor. What's up? Sears and ears, and now we have the Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. Well, you could look it up on the internet, and what is it? It is the BTU per hour divided by watt heating seasonal performance factor it's it's what you wanted the rate of providing heat to the warm interior of your house in the middle of winter divided by the rate at which you had to purchase electricity to purchase it in what are my preferred units for the heating btu per hour what are my preferred units for the rate at which your electricity watts that's, if you get the ear and the sear and then you get this one, it's good to see they're all parallel. All right. 
Guess what? Department of Energy has already thought of this, U.S. government. And they have put out these consumer guides, and they have the seasonal energy efficiency ratio. Hey, what is this for? This is for a heat pump doing cooling and heating. It's a split system. Aren't you glad? Now you know what split system means. And it's for heating and cooling. And it's got the heat pump in it. Um, how many people know uh, if they live in a house that has this a heat pump? So it's running like an air conditioner in the middle of summer. Yeah. And it runs like a heater, providing heat to the same condenser unit on the outside. But they, when it's a heat pump, they don't call it an outside condensing unit. They just call it the outside unit. They make it a more general term. Because in the winter, what's happening on the outside? It's not the condensing unit. It's the evaporating unit. It's the evaporators outside. They do a switch in the plumbing, a little toggle. Okay. And, and then right down here, so they're telling you in the cooling mode, what is its seasonal energy efficiency ratio? Pretty good, 15. And in the heating mode, what are they telling you? Heating seasonal performance factor, 8.2. So this, again, is for a heat pump. All right, so if the heat pump has a heating seasonal performance factor 8.2, what is the COP of the heat pump? Yes, we'll do this for clicker points. I'm hoping to get 100% correct. Let's go ahead and see how we did. Can you, you want to redo it? You accidentally? I'll tell you what, you tell me which one you accidentally put right now, and then I'll make sure and fix it. Which one did you accidentally put? He put D, but he meant B, right? Okay, we'll grade this. There's one person that did D, and he meant to put B, right? So he's correct. The rest of you, you had to put B. Oh, you put you put E, but you meant to put... Oh, okay, we'll, we'll fix that. Who, who, put, who put C? Did you meant, mean to put B? Oh, I think they did, huh? Who, who, who put A and meant to put B? If you don't own up to it, then I have to just count it wrong. So, last chance. I'm being nice today. All right. All right. So, we covered a lot. The heat pump system. Did we solve a problem? No, but it's the same condenser, evaporator, you know, same devices. It's just what you desire. And so here for the heat pump is, uh, you know, what you want is what's being dumped in the condenser, not picked up in the evaporator, and the heat pump coefficient of performance is one plus the refrigeration. And this is your heat pump. Hey, what was that acronym for? HSPF, Heating Seasonal Performance Factor. Very good, very good. 